monitor, Donkey Kong monitor. And uh, there's some of your adjustments for volume and brightness and uh, horizontal and vertical roll and whatever. There's your soundboard, whatever, whatever. No. Yeah. There's your coil for uh, horizontal, vertical height, horizontal. I don't, you don't really need to touch that. Uh, there's a switch in there for testing. But uh, what I am going to show here is uh, this one's got a cage on it and an inverter board. I found by bypassing this inverter board uh, directly to the monitor's uh, chassis, uh, the signal stronger. I guess these components might be worn out or I don't know where it sucks some of the uh, signal down from the... Okay, uh, I had to move things around here. My cable was not long enough to reach uh, from the left side of the machine because the board's mounted on on this side here. So anyhow, who okay. cares? So there's a monitor there. And I'll turn it on. Show you the problem here. Okay. I got one of the memory uh, things on the board. Okay, there you go. That is what you call on the one side vertical folding. Um, this one side is squashed up and there's nothing you can do. Well there is something but it's not the, the answer. Um, okay. There is nothing you can do. You can move it over like that. Nope, sorry, the other way. <laughs> And get a whole picture, but of course that's not right. So, uh, the next step here is the bright is not very bright here. It's turning the let it warm up a bit. I think it definitely needs a cap job, but for now I'll just change the one cap to, to fix this problem here. Um, a little blurry too. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, there you go. That's what you call vertical folding. And I do believe it's capacitor 407. Uh, when I had this machine delivered to me, this is exactly how the monitor looked. And I was upset, of course, you know, because the pictures didn't look like that. And uh, the capacitor had actually fallen out. And I started it back in and come out again. I don't know if a lot of heat gets generated in that one spot because it's pretty close to the flyback. Uh, what the deal is there, but uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, the color's definitely off. Okay. Okay. Uh, I took the frame off the monitor. You got to be careful once that frame comes off. All you got is these two little ears. Uh, holding that, uh, the monitor's pretty okay on its side. It's sitting flush on that side at the bottom. Uh, what I'm after is right here. Uh, I can't see with my other glasses. Okay. Okay. What I'm after is right there. Uh, I don't know if we can get in there. C C four oh seven. Um, something tells me it may be a few other pieces in there. Uh, da, 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 da. C407 and let's go back to the other one, monitor. C407 and uh, 408 and 410. I gotta check those. And 471. I can't really do much checking, but I'll see if they look burnt or fried or loose. I'll change 407 first and uh, see if I've had any luck. Okay, I got it uh, all back together. Put the frame back on. Well, I had to. Anyway, I put it, up, put it all back together. Um, I just changed the one capacitor, 407. I hope that's... Uh, 
all it was because, geez, it was over quite a bit. It was over a little bit more than mine was. How much? It's like one digit on the numbers. So let me turn the light off and let's see what happened. Uh, On. Oh, ah, beautiful, beautiful. You can see already. Wow, see that? It, it's just that one darn capacitor. I keep putting my hand here because I don't want you to see my butt. <laughs> Walk around my underwear. Still a bit of an issue here. I think there's a bit of a gap. I don't remember mine in the machine there being quite so much here. And there's some thunder. So. You know what? I, this was red before. I know this is the proper. These were all red. That capacitor must also affect color. See, that's when it's folded over, eh? But I can adjust it. Well, that's pretty centered. I was going to say I can adjust it on the board too, but I don't want to because it's, it's for the most part set up for. Uh, it's set up for my for my monitor. So that's it. It's all it takes. So to fix that problem up. Uh, I'm gonna let it warm up for a little while, but I, I can, you know, unless I was, I'm taking, I'm on acid right now. It's kind of warm, 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 warm. Bit of a wobble to it. Oh yeah, it's fluctuating. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it needs a cab job for sure, but not bad, eh? I got that monitor power supply, the original Nintendo power supply, uh, and that's it, but the monitor and the power supply, and I swapped them an old bar top arcade machine, I throw my 60 and one in it, and basically, you know, I sold it for, uh, what, geez, what did I sell it for, 400 bucks, and this guy was, uh, this guy was like 100 miles away. And just my luck, the guy that had this monitor and the power supply was like two blocks over from this guy. He's in the same town, eh, of Ajax. And so I think I gave him 150 for the monitor and then that, and I went home with a couple hundred bucks. So I didn't do too bad. Alrighty. So there you go. The famous 407.